Welcome back to our channel. Today we're here at our Washington Street project located in West Palm Beach, Florida. Priority number one was to create a formal entry. So the home was built in the 1950s and there was no entry. As soon as you walked in the front door, you were right in the living room and in the kitchen. We wanted to create some dividing spaces, so we added a wall. Another small touch, but it was a big impact, was creating this small coat closet. They have two kids, so all of their things can go in the closet and you can close the door and not have to see it. We also wanted to create this impactful moment right when when you walked in. So we chose this beautiful wallpaper from Tebow and the jewelry of the space, which are the sconces and the chandelier from Visual Comfort. We brought in our custom cabinetry for this dry bar. Also this beautiful quartz countertop paired with our beautiful pop of color on the backsplash. This tile was handmade and hand painted for us specifically. Function and storage were really important with this dry bar. We really wanted to have a space that all our glassware can fit, our spirits can fit, and also these are actually refrigerator drawers, which is perfect because you might have things that you don't want in your regular big refrigerator, you wanna keep them here to a dedicated space. Having the dry bar centrally located was actually great because it helped to break up the spaces from the kitchen, the living, and the dining room. Moving the kitchen definitely had its challenges. There was actually a structural beam that ran the entire length of the house that we could not modify. We used it to our advantage and actually made it a good start and stop point for our shiplap ceiling. We really wanted to make a statement with the countertop and backsplash. We chose this beautiful honed marble for the island and also the perimeter. We loved it so much, we decided to carry it up the backsplash for that very clean look. Cabinetry is our forte. So we designed this kitchen and worked with our shop in Ohio to actually make these beautiful cabinets. Inset is really important when working on a very clean looking kitchen because the frame of the cabinet is flush with the door. So you get this beautiful seamless look when you use inset cabinets. Some other elements in this kitchen that were really important for the overall design was the hood and the light fixtures. The hood, we wanted to bring in the oak flooring color on this trim piece, and we're very fortunate that our shop in Ohio was able to make this for us. The light fixture was also a huge role as well. It paired with our rattan stools and also brought in this natural coastal element to this kitchen. I really loved how the fabricator was able to match the veining in this marble. So it's very important that the pattern actually runs from the top here and through the backsplash. Our design team really went all out when designing this kitchen. Because the countertop was so beautiful, the last thing we wanted was a huge knife lock sitting on top. One thing we did was we created a knife lock in the drawer so it keeps all of your knives hidden away. Another element that was important was to have this dishwasher that was completely paneled so it matches our cabinetry. And then another concern is where to put the cutting board. So we dedicated a pullout just for cutting boards. Of course, having a spice pullout is a must and having it adjustable so that you can change the different heights. A trash, everyone needs that. So we decided to dedicate a cabinet just for the trash pullout. And then our personal favorite, a paper towel holder. And one last thing, hidden storage under your island. So this is a very common problem in a lot of kitchens is the awkward corner. What we did here was we actually made the shelves open so it felt a little less awkward and then it created this little nook to hide your appliances. So it's not the first thing that you see when you walk into the kitchen. So you may have noticed there are no outlets on our backsplash we actually decided to hide them underneath the upper cabinet so that it didn't break up our beautiful backsplash.
Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. And if you're looking for more content like this, be sure to check out this video. Oh, 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 o